My name is Erendina Delgadillo, and I'm an Associate Curator of History at the Oakland Museum of California. Today we're going to explore why we celebrate El Día de los Muertos here in our state. Although this holiday is connected to Mesoamerican spiritual practices, the tradition was first introduced to California as a way to talk about important political issues within the Chicano community and to publicly honor indigenous heritage. In the 1960s and 70s, Mexican Americans rose up against racism and oppression in the United States, a time now known as the Chicano Movement. Chicanos across the Southwest confronted decades of racism and violence against Mexican people. Racist attitudes and legal segregation had forced people of Mexican descent into unclean and unsafe housing, like the one you see in this photograph. A 1965 UCLA study revealed that 1.7 million Mexicans across the Southwest were living in homes that were overcrowded, neglected, and unsafe, and over 2 million people were living in poverty. Work was another important issue. In 1965, Mexican, Filipino, and white activists banded together to create the United Farm Workers. This union is dedicated to supporting farm workers, including advocating for fair pay and safe working conditions, and they are still active today. This poster shows the deadly conditions grape picking farm workers endured in a way that's funny and easy to understand. The artist, Esther Hernandez, is from Dinuba, California, a city dedicated to the raisin industry, so the issue was very close to her heart. The UFW used theater and art to spread information about important issues and to maintain a sense of community. Artwork like this highlighted the pride and importance of working in the fields and inspired people to join the cause. For many Chicanos, this was their first exposure to political organizing. Once the movement began, Chicano organizers looked for similar ways to bring people together and turned to El Día de los Muertos. Before the 1970s, very few people knew about El Día de los Muertos on this side of the U.S.-Mexico border. Chicanos looked for information about this buried practice from elders and in books and created a mixed tradition with influences from many places. The Chicano version we still celebrate includes public processions, ofrendas, and art exhibitions. Artists created images that helped define Chicano strength, spirituality, and resilience. El Día de los Muertos is a time to gather with loved ones, reflect on the struggles and triumphs of our ancestors, and recommit to helping each other get through difficult moments. How do you draw strength from your past? 